What's happening? Welcome everybody. Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We are inside a Lyra starter game for Unreal Engine 5. And today we're going to be messing around with the uh, menu backgrounds or animations that go on in the back of the menu. Um, just to demonstrate this, I'm going to go here to my uh, project settings here. And we are just going to go to maps and modes. Let me go ahead and stretch this out a little bit I'm on a new screen here so everything's a little weird for me still getting it together so what we want is the default startup map to be the front end so that we can see our menu so I'm just going to show you this real quick I'm going to take a couple seconds for this to load up and I want to start off the video while that's loading up by thanking all the people who have subscribed since the last time I put a video up, man. We're pushing up on 600 subs now. It's awesome. Appreciate it, guys. I really do. All right. So now that you've got the front end loaded, you should be able to press play and just the menu will pop up on the screen so that we can actually see our menu. So there we go. And you guys can see I moved this over. Um, I did that in the last video. Because I'm going to try some different things with the menu here. All right. But anyway, uh, what we're talking about is this background here. And if you saw the video that I just put out uh, testing my uh, 4K screen and stuff like that, you will see that I've changed all this up. And I will show you where this all is because this was a pain to find. I couldn't believe that it wasn't anywhere in the uh, user interface folder. So let me show you guys where this actually is. All right. What you're going to want to do to edit these screens or the background screens or remove them is you are going to want to go to your uh, plugins folder and you're going to want to go here to where it says shooter core maps content. All right, guys, and we're going to go through this folder a little bit so you understand what's in here. This is basically um, the map system that's behind the menu that you're playing when you press play it's loading this map and if you go in here um, this is just the uh, game feature data asset here and I'm pretty sure um, I could edit in here and uh, get that to change I'm not gonna do that today I'm not getting into that today um, but that's what this is then you have your system folder here which has your playlists um, and it just has your loading screens and different things like that in here all right so this is where you're going to find the screens you can change these uh screens here like this is the loading screen for control point um this is the loading screen for a uh, shooter game so you can go in and you could change these all right and then um these are we'll tell you here see how it says the ui tile map and that's what this is. This is what's going to show when that's loaded. And then it's telling you that this is the shooter game elimination experience, which makes this map use the shooter game. And um, and then it tells you which map to pull up. So all of this is basically uh, your loading data. And then this says uh, W loading screen TDM, what we just uh, saw in that folder. Um, so that's what's going to happen. It's going to it's going to make this loading screen pop up, which you already see whenever you press play. And then you can also uh, see that what else is in this folder I want to show you guys. So that's what those are. So this is your playlist. This is what's going to play in your menu. So I'm trying to, you know, explain it, but kind of keep it moving along because this is going to be a long video. It may be more than one part. All right. So, um. And then this is the experiences, which shows you right here. Uh, B test inventory experience. Go in here. And if you want to know what things are, guys, just click on them, man. I mean, that's the easiest way to find out. But it says here, uh, the game features to enable our shooter core, which obviously this is a preset that's predefined somewhere. Um, and then this is the hero uh, shooter game so this is the hero data so this is for the characters 
and it tells you the abilities for the heroes and all that in here all right so this is stuff that you probably will get into this more when we start setting up the gameplay and and things like that but for now this is beyond what we want to talk about for this video because we're really kind of focusing on uh, just changing that background all right so we're going to get out of that one as well but i did want to give you guys a little tour of the folders all right um proto is here and this is just inventory test um this is not something that we're going to have to worry about right now um I'll show you that a little bit later on um what's next here are the meshes so this will be all of the block outs that they use to actually build the map that they have displayed all right so this is all of those meshes that when we press play and i'll go ahead and press play just so we can keep our mind fresh when i press play here see that's all of this that's going on here all right and i want you to watch this real quick while i'm talking to you this changes it scrolls up for about a minute it's actually about 45 seconds um, and then it's going to change the image and this is important stuff that I want you to see here. But these are the meshes that are in the folder. See, there we go. So now it switched to red. All right. So these are the two teams goal points are behind here, the red and the blue. So this is the side that the red would start on. The other side is the side that the blue would start on. So they use literally the actual map that they're using in the game. All right. So um, let's go ahead. And with that, we also have... Um, maps okay and this is where it's going to get good this is where we're going to stop here and i'm going to go in and let you know what's going on here this here says l shooter front end background this is the map here so what you want to do here is when i click this you're going to see that we have the whole map uh here all right this is the map that we're going to be working in um, what I want to show you is, first of all, in order to get the lighting good, we're going to go to another place. All right. In the same folder. All right. Under go back to shooter map content and we're going to go to level sequence. This is the sequence that's playing in the map. Um, and I can show you where it is. It's it's on the map. It's in here. But this is the level sequence that's playing. And that's how you're seeing the image moving and rolling and or whatnot but if you go down here you'll see the level sequences underneath here that's the sequence for the lobby screen all right and then we're going to go ahead and i'm going to go back this is where we started all right so when it plays for that one minute it goes all the way up and then what happens is it actually switches to another camera that's all the way on the other side so you go here see this is the red side and to make this a little clearer guys you can go here and under these uh sequences click the second one this one actually has the lights in it so if you click this one your light will come on and you'll see the actual sequence come up on the screen all right so if we move the sequence here and we take and we move this over you're going to see Right here is 45 seconds. This is the half point. Then it switches to the other camera. Now, if we press play here and do it, it's not going to uh, show us what we're looking for. But with this map open, you can press play and it'll play the whole sequence out. So if you press play, it's going to go ahead and play the sequence. All right. And then you can see here it is. It's on the blue side. It's going to flip and it's going to go to the red side. Now, the really wonderful thing about this and what I did in my video that I'm starting on is I'm dismantling. And right now I'm keeping it because it looks kind of neat the way it is, but definitely not for the game. Um, what, we're, what I'm going to do is remove all of these um, excess actors and just make my own screen. All right. But this is where you would do that, guys. And you can literally drag actors in if you want. So I'm just going to make a new folder here and I'm just going to call it, let me get in a blank space here. We're going to just put a new folder and we're going to call it 
blueprints. And I'm going to put my in front of it right quick. It's just a way for me to separate it to make sure I know it's mine. All right. And inside of this folder, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an actor blueprint class. Open up all classes and we're going to select actor and then just put select. All right. Now we can name this actor whatever we want. Um, since it's going to be a menu, I'm going to put menu actor BP. All right. And now inside of this, and I'm going to say control shift S. And we're going to go inside of this actor in this actor. Now you're going to see that we have an actor with everything that you need here. We're just going to press add and we're going to add a skeletal mesh to this actor. Um, you can just leave it as skeletal mesh usually works for me. All right. So once you got your actor, you can select your skeletal mesh. We're going to select the female uh, Quinn. So, so SKM Quinn, and you see it here, and then you see Manny up there. So we're going to make a uh, Quinn here. All right. And we can use this one actor for all the rest of the actors. Okay. And we can leave everything like it is. And then we can change this to use animation asset, compile, and save. And there you go, guys, it's that easy. You have the actor. I would leave this blank so that that way you know it's one that you haven't set up yet because it's in the A pose. But now that we have this actor and it is saved, I'm gonna go here. You wanna add this character to your favorites. I mean, this folder to your favorites, which is up here. And I usually like to put a color on it. So since this is characters, I usually make them blue. So we'll go ahead and we'll set a color here, new color, and I'm going to set it to blue. Blue lets me know it's character folder for me. You know, this is my own way of doing things. All right. So now we can drag this character in, in the position that we had the other character located. She has an animation. She's doing the finger guns. We're going to go to the other character which is over here. And instead of scrolling over, I'm just going to click guys. All right. So we're going to go to our other character and we are going to give him an animation now. So you want to highlight the character, go to skeletal mesh, pick an asset here and we have some idols that we can use. I D L E. I haven't put any cool animations in guys, so you're not going to see all the cool stuff like I had. Um, but we got idle break fidget. Um, I'm just going to find a regular idle break. So let's just put break. So we want the unarmed break. And then we'll go to the other character. And instead of the uh, finger things, we're gonna give her a break as well. So it's not so repetitive looking. Um, so these animations are very repetitive. You wanna get something that's cooler. So let's put another break. And she has the break scan. So we'll do the unarmed uh, idle break. Let's put unarmed in front of this real quick. Okay, and then there we go. So she'll get the scan and he won't have the scan. So if we go in and we press play now. You'll see, there we go. All right. So that's pretty much how it's going to look now with your menu though, guys, this is the thing that you're going to want to do. See, I moved my uh, menu over. So that's why I'm going to get away with having my character in the middle is because I moved my menu over. As you see in my video uh, that I had as my demo, the character was actually, they were off to the sides so that I allowed room for the menu to be in the middle. So let's go ahead and go here. 
um, you have your default game experience here. And we can make this be Lyra front end experience. So let's press play. And there you go. So by changing the default experience, it'll allow you to have an easier workflow without having to go back and forth and messing with the menu. But as you can see, there we go. And we're just gonna let it ride and you guys will be able to see that it's going to uh, change after a moment. And we just gotta be patient. It's a nice smooth little menu. And I think it's pretty neat kind of that they did it this way to have the map behind the menu like that It gives you a lot of flexibility um, It can get heavy, but you just have to like I just did you have to simplify things and so there it goes and it went to the other side All right, <clears throat> so there you guys go man. It's pretty pretty freaking easy really to be honest with you pretty freaking easy All right, so that'll get you you know started at least all right um anyway guys that's it man amp capo black adonis games like subscribe tell a friend man we are here